welcome, guys. It's going to be fun. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be the best one yet. Just because, you know, like, I think this is the first one in the new year, right? Yeah. For the seminar. How's everyone feeling in the new year? Good. Yeah, you're feeling yeah. good? good? You're feeling excited? Who's, who feels Rich. focused? Raise your hands. <laughs> who feels distracted still? Yeah, okay. Probably everyone, we're probably all lying. <laughs> yeah, everyone's distracted by too many things. But I'm excited, guys. It's going to be an awesome day. What we're going to do is go around each table and basically talk about where you are, what you're doing, be honest, what your challenges are, but also one thing you want to get out of today. So if you said you know, to your buddy before you left or whoever, your spouse, well, I really want to get this today. I'll make, I hope Tom mentions this. We'll just say it so we can get it up on the board. And then what we can do is we can make sure we tick that off. We're going to do some Q&A because at the end, if you see hot seats, basically that's where someone comes up to the front and we just ask questions and you go, okay, here's my challenge. It's leads, it's sales. Preferably someone has taken lots of action. That's better because then we can see how we can grow. So people are doing deals or have done deals already or people that are in, they're just making progressive moves forward, right? So that's going to be great because everyone sort of learns. So we pitch and catch. I always use that phrase. <laughs> Sam always teases me for it because I used it like a thousand times over the years. <laughs> but when you see someone else up here, they're going to have the same problem as you, but everyone chips in. So if we got three or four different people that have common challenges, but little different specifics. Some might be Facebook ads, it might be direct mail, it might be consistency, <laughs> it might be mindset or focus or people around them, right? So you're gonna learn a lot. So we will cover a lot of the things we put up here today. So we've got a structure to make sure we hit it off. Okay guys, so just to let you know, this is recorded, so it will be uploaded. It will take about seven days after it's uploaded. So you guys will be able to go back over it and actually watch your recording. For everyone that couldn't make it, a lot of people here are actually sick, not you guys specifically. Um, some of you guys might be. Don't give it to me, please. <laughs> I've got dreams. Um, which is, which is going to be awesome. For you guys that couldn't make it, you got the recording. Make sure you're here next time, okay? <laughs> All right, cool. So it's going to be awesome. I'm really excited. I feel relaxed today, guys. I don't feel as in a crazy energy mood today, if I'm being honest. I feel sort of more just relaxed. I just want to get you focus on the right things and really identify where your challenges are and also give you critical feedback. So a lot of the time what happens is when we start a new year, most people, they say most people have already broken their habits already because it's the these old whatever you've had for 20, 30, 40 years is taken over these habits, these routines, these negative cycles of thought, which is, you know, distraction, shiny object syndrome, you know, for example, most people can't really get rid of their news feed because they're obsessed. Uh, but they, for example, if I asked you a question, I said, if it was your last couple of days on earth, why would you be one of, why would you look at crap on a news feed? That's just dumb, to be honest. It just makes no sense, right? It doesn't make any, no, it doesn't make any logical sense, but it's addictive. It's very addictive. It's the little highs. There's nothing wrong with positive stuff. That's great because I still watch YouTube videos, which is great. Like people like Ed Milet and um, Tom Belio, the guy that has a Quest Productions and stuff like that. That's really good, awesome information. But I get it and I start using it. So I don't just consume. So the most important thing, guys, what we're going to identify is we're going to do a goal setting exercise. And really, I'm going to ask you the questions. Go, here's your goals. And then every single day with the calendar that we have, what actions are you taking to achieve that goal, right, a specific goal? And then another list of all the people you've met. Do they have anything to do with that goal throughout the whole week? And every action you take part of, TV programs, discussions, do they have any part of actually you hitting that goal? Norm Let's be honest, guys, is it, do they have anything to do with their goal normally? They don't, do they? So for example, if you want to hit, say, 20 grand a month, for example, you want to flip four deals, and you've got all these actions, would you say, say, every single day, Monday to Sunday, every action I do, does these people have anything to do with me hitting that goal? You'll be, you'll be disgusted with yourselves, guys. You would look at it and go, because I do this as well, and I'm like, oh my God, that's insane. 
because it's, it's hard to focus. That's what Warren Buffett and Bill Gates said, the billionaires in terms of financial success. And but I think in any success, relationship success, you know, if you're not focused on your loved one, the relationship goes, right? You've got to make sure you're attentive and present and focused. Otherwise, it just goes away. I think it's everything focus is so important, being present. For example, I couldn't do this talk if I wasn't focused and actually here with you. If I was thinking about, I don't know, what I watch, what's coming out on the movies, uh, John Wick 3 is coming out, I'm quite excited about that. I like John Wick, it's a great series. But uh, I thought about that just before I come, but now I've let it go. But, <laughs> right, if I started thinking about that, but seriously, if you're here like that, but the, the deals, the deals, and you're not here present, listening to someone who's done hundreds of them and has taught people to do probably thousands now because everyone I've taught over the last five, six years, like, it would, you, it would be mad, right? But I understand because I've had it. It's that sort of attention disorder. You know when you're thinking, your mind's like, what am I going to eat today? <laughs> when, when's lunch? You know, we started 45 minutes late. Are we going to cover this? Or whatever your mind's focused on, right? So my job is to make sure I snap you out of that. Because I, what I like to do is I realize it's a numbers game. So the clients I have, not everyone's going to transform. But I've had so many people completely transform. I've got so many people who are financially free. that have come friends that have been started in the mentoring group. Not making a grand or two a month, making, some are making seven, eight passive coming in. And it's, that's passive income. And it's fantastic to see. Um, but I really believe that every one of you can have the transformation. And some of you guys are going to take longer, clearly. Some of you guys are going to be a lot quicker. Some people will be, they will accelerate the process faster. And they start to take the principles of mindset and marketing and sales into other businesses and start to thrive there as well, which is great. So that's my goal, guys. So my mission to, you you know, when I sort of be hard or whatever sometimes at these seminars, I don't think I am really compared to some people out there. You should look at Dan Payne's stuff. Good Lord. I don't know if you guys ever watch that guy, but he's insane. Um, but, you know, if me and Sam are here, for example, we might not call people out, but specifically because that's, that's cruel, but pinpoint things and actually go, no, look, look, you're not doing this, you're not making offers. So Sam will always say, well, are you making offers? Because that is the one thing that if you do, you've got your likelihood of success is huge. If you don't implement offers, you will fail. And, it will, it, and then you'll go to another business and then that business will fail because the principles in any business, in a seminar business, imagine if you've gone to a seminar, right? And the guy never pitches anything. He's just lost 40 grand putting the seminar on. Imagine that. Imagine he made no offers. Like, he, no, here's a product. He'd lose money, be bankrupt. So you have to understand, guys, your business, you've got to make offers. It's the, it's the one thing if you do it. So a lot of the things I'm going to talk about today is going to be combined with a lot of strategies, say tactics, but also some great mindset stuff, some real different stuff and things that have helped me. And I really feel that once we identify why are we not doing it, because some people are still here month after month that, are actually some people are transforming their doing offers, which is amazing, and you can clearly see the growth. Would you see, agree that, guys? Yes. Is there some people in the group that are actually growing fast? Would you say yes, guys? Yes. I need it louder than that, please, guys. Yes. yes. I'm putting inject some caffeine into my neck. Wake me up. Have a Nero, don't do that. <laughs> yeah, these jokes are getting worse and worse and worse. Laurie's going to tell me off when she listens to the recording. But I try, I try. I, I think I could do the comedian scene. <laughs> Maybe when I'm drunk, Marbella's coming. But, I mean, <laughs> we'll see. But seriously, guys, like, because if, for example, if someone asked me in my family how my clients are, and I said about six are doing very well, like, and I said the others couldn't do amazing. They're very smart intellectually. They're, they've got loads of knowledge. They've got other mentors. They know loads about this, but they're not pulling the trigger and taking action. So my goal, guys, with the challenge I'm doing, the 28-day challenge, your Do or Die series, is to really simplify everything for you. Me and Sam have agreed on this and just get you accountable on the things that are just offers and really getting out there. Uh, Sandra, can you, you got some? Oh, <laughs> wanna, material. Yeah, so, if I, I'm not putting this, I'm not stripping now, guys. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, this is pretty So I asked some of you guys, right, to about auctions, about buyers. We'll talk about that later. To go in, be a bit silly. Some of you've got to be silly. Look at me, guys. C come on. Like, I'm not too serious. 
you have to be a little bit silly, but also what I found is you've got to do things that are different to other people. You have to do something that shocks you. And I'm going to talk about the old you and the new you in a second, about transforming your old self, because your self that joined can't become successful in this business. It's impossible. You have to transform. You have to change the people around you, your mindset. Every month I feel different. And if you don't feel different every month and your beliefs are not conflicted from when you joined, then you're not growing. So my job is to make sure you grow. And this is a result of doing this. So I ask you guys to do some ugly material, right, on some webinars and go into an auction or a networking it's meet. Ugly, <laughs> <laughs> it's actually beautiful, yeah. Can you send me one, please? Seriously. I'll say this is action. So look, create a property investors. We create solutions uh, to your problems, which is awesome. And then you've got your thing on there. So when you approach someone at an auction, you can say, look, here's what we do. Add, add, us, add us on our website, blah, 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 or here's WhatsApp or whatever, and they will immediately just take merchandise works. It just works really well. People are, oh, really? You are, you are serious. It's not silly. Like, even if you had a deal and you put below market value deal or something, people wouldn't go, oh, that person's silly. They would actually go, wow, that person's got courage. Who's already thinking, Sandra, well, that's pretty awesome. She's, who's, raise their hands, I think, that's actually, exactly. So, but most people go, oh man, I feel like, they're just saying, I'll pay you guys later, yeah? <laughs> Pardon? I actually used it. I got it last week. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, so, you know, it's a, it's a great way, it's a testament to that, again, to get out of your comfort zone and do new things. Would you have done that at the first, straight away? Would you have thought, no. oh, it's a bit silly, it's not going to work. And there's little things like that. Is that going to make you a millionaire? No, guys. But it gets you in that right mindset to do things different. So with your notes today, guys, you have to do something very different to what you did before. So if you want to transform, I always like to audit myself because I've had many challenges, ups and downs in business. And I, I feel a lot stronger because I've gone through them. So I don't, most people, they, it's like a boxer, they get hit and then they're like, man, I don't want to do boxing anymore. Some people get hit and go, wow, well that means I'm gonna learn how to get out of the way or defend, get my defense better, right? Because it's a mindset. So it really is, once you realize that, let's just say today was New Year's Day, most people outside <laughs> that aren't in this room would have a different mindset because it's New Year's Day, right? Everyone says, it's New Year's Day, New Year's resolutions. But most people, they don't, they, they lose that. Why do people break their habits within say four to six weeks, guys? What, what do you think? I think it's the mindset. It's yeah. just, just the routine that they already have, which is not breaking new habits. Yeah. <laughs> just reinstates. Most people don't yeah. embrace change. Yes. Yeah. They like what they know. Yes, no, definitely. Yeah. That, that's so true. The mind is obsessive with what it knows. That's why they say like, grumpy men, you know, old men, they say grumpy. It's not, it's grumpy men that just got older. <laughs> now they're just more grumpy now. They've always been grumpy. <laughs> and women, you guys are like as well. Times, trust me, like get away of that. <laughs> I'm not politically correct, believe me. That's why probably the other property guys don't like me. <laughs> Let's have fun with it. But seriously, if we look at where you start, right? The old you, if you actually get this, the old you, the person now, can't make 10 grand a month filsing. You can't. You can't do it. If someone's, you can't do it. You're not capable of it. Otherwise, you would be doing it. Wouldn't you? If you can make seven pound an hour at a job, you start off from making seven pound, then you go 10, 15, then you have X amount of money or whatever that is. I don't know what that is, right? For me, I went from 650 an hour and just went straight to 10 grand a month because I just had the mentors that were literally doing it. There was like stay at home mums that were making 15 grand a month. So I was like, good Lord, if, I, if they can do that. I was like a sponge. I didn't really know. I was very naive to what was possible, which is very good. So you've got to be a little bit naive to what you can achieve, guys. You have to think different. You have to, you have to stop being realistic sometimes. I know I say you should be realistic as well. There's counter arguments to it. But you guys will know what I mean. You have to really get outside the box. Because there's some people right now doing million pound deals in property today. They're negotiating a million pound deal with no money, no credit, right? There's people out there doing that. So if you start to actually think about that, you're like, hang on a minute, I'm thinking too small. But your old self can't achieve that. So what I mean by that is, hey Malcolm, what I mean by this, guys, is let's just say your old self is doing these same routines over and over again, right? So if I get my pen out here. Um, 
the old you, you know, if we just put it down here, you know, your old, old self, and then your new you. So to become your best you, this old self, that you have certain patterns that you play out. That is, I've talked about this before, but it's got you to where you are right now. So let's just say your success barrier is going from here to here. You're someone that, you've got to look at these. You have to identify and ask yourself an honest question. Where do I fuck up in my life? Let's just say in business, where do I ruin things? Because self-sabotage is the biggest thing that stops people having success. Me and Sam have seen it so many times. Some people that were so close to doing deals, and they literally, they just stop. And it's literally, they could have been like having an extra business, five, six grand a month, consistently, they just stop. And they go, but there's this other thing now I've seen. And then I see them, I'm not gonna name names, but I see some people guys like years ago, and they're working in a pub now. Like, come on, like what? That doesn't make any sense. Like it makes no sense. And there's some people in the same group that are like, have probably made quarter of a million in revenue. They've got several properties now in their portfolio. Like, it's, it's incredible, right? They, they look different, they're healthy. Like, there's a, what is different between that person? Is it the info guys? Yes or no? Is it the info guys? Yes or no? No. No, no it's not the info that made the difference. It's, it's their person, it's their pattern. So you've got to identify this, this self that's got you to where you are. These, what is a self? It's basically an accumulation of experiences you had from the past. That's all it is. It's an, it's an accumulation of past experiences, failures, ups and downs, your parents. If your parents were very like, you should do this, you need to be a doctor. You know, my, I was lucky because my mum and dad just said, do what the heck you want. <laughs> that, that I was lucky. I, I love my mum and dad and I was blessed like that. Even though we had a lot of negative stuff, money and stuff like that. If a phone went, it was like, <gasps> who's, at the, who's at the door? Very, very scared of money, which I had to overcome that belief. But they let me just go out and do what I wanted to do. I, did, I wasn't caged in. However, because I worked with hundreds of people, one one thousands throughout seminars and stuff, what I've seen is 90% of the group say they have people around them that affect their life, basically. Close. Which is not good, to be honest, guys. Let's just be real. It's very, it actually affects you. And I'm going to talk about a famous study that was done called the Happiness Study, done in, I think, 1964, 1954, about how the people around you they observed who were the most happiest people that were at happiness by meaning they were just genuinely happy, they were smiling a lot, they were going to exercise, they were exercising, they were looking after their health, they were doing well in their career business. It was people that socialized. This is interesting, I'll, sh I'll share this with you. It's people that socialized. And I'll, I'll share a video, I'll write it down and talk about this, which talks about yeah, this study in more detail, but also it talks about how loneliness is worse for your health. And we talk about this a lot, actually, about loneliness of business and property is worse for your health than smoking 20 cigarettes a day. It's proven by science. Loneliness, that's crazy. Now, I'll share the study with you. It's nuts. Like, you, it, it shocks you. But are you surprised? No. When you feel lonely and you're like, oh, man, I'm at this myself. No one supports me. You isolate other people around you. You don't think anyone, it's not worth networking because you think they're not even taking out. Who's had that? It's like, I don't want to network with them people, they're not even going to do anything. Be honest, go, come on, let, let's be honest. More people, it's like, oh, they're not really in there, which is true. But there are a few in this group that will be wildly successful, like in crazy successful the next five years. Like it will be like, what on earth did them people do? And we'll see that, won't we, Sam? Like some people just be like, my God, they're doing better than, they're like multi-millionaires. They've got this, they've got the other businesses going on. That, that will happen, I guarantee that. So don't really start to dismiss what I'm going to talk about with the happiness study. It's so important and it really relates to this, okay, guys? And this is so important. A lot of people think, oh, it doesn't matter, but it does. If you're around people that are sucking your energy all the time and negative, how it's going to be very hard to hit your goal. Most people, when they're trying to hit their goal, they push. So for example, it's like, oh, Tom told me to do it. Sam's telling us to make offers. It's almost like a school teacher tells you to do your homework. Are you in freedom doing that homework or does it feel like resistance? Resistance, right? Say resistance, guys. Resistance? Yeah, yeah? it feels like resistance. Say it, guys. Resistance? resistance? Yeah, if it's resistance for you, right? Wake up, guys. Come on. Otherwise, I will get some... In <laughs> caffeine injected in you. <laughs> it's coming. 
It's on camera as well, so we might have to delete that, John, if we can. <laughs> Cheers. If, if you call more leads, you won't be lonely. <laughs> yeah, depend. These sellers, though, are screwed up, man. <laughs> but, you know, you're social, you're engaging. There's something powerful, though, seriously. When you call sellers and when you engage with people, do you feel good when you engage? When you engage with people, let's just say you're a bit nervous and you go up to someone and network and you speak, and you're like, oh, that wasn't even that bad. I actually feel good now. But when you're like, are they looking, you know, like, it's a, uh, oh, are they, are they judging me? No one cares. No one, that's what I realised. I used to think when I was doing seminars, I'd be judging. No one even cares. It's like, oh, that's awesome, cool. No one's even thinking about it. Everyone's thinking about themselves because that's just the way humans work, right? Except the very spiritual people out there and <laughs> they care about everyone. So what are your patterns, guys? I'm not going to go into every single pattern now, but where do you screw yourself up? And be honest, what distractions do you take part in? What complaining do you take part in? Do you do, you do lots of gossiping? Do you start to get distracted very easy? Is there like one thing and then you don't finish it and then you go on to the next thing, right? Do you find it hard to complete things? Do you find it hard to stay consistent longer than a month? Because here's the thing, some people's patterns are 30 days, they're really, right, it's like boom, I'm done. And then boom, for three months, they are really strong for 30, 60 days, and their habits just go boom. So that 30 days, like, I'm taking action, I'm doing this, I'm making calls, I'm gonna succeed. I'm gonna go from here to here, I'm feeling good, that like they're engaging, and it's like, wow, that person is. It's like, I'm gonna do anything. And I'm like, well, when I've had meetings where people tell me I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, I had one guy, he said, I'm gonna make, I said, look, make at least two to three offers a day. He goes, I'm gonna make, no one in this group. He said, I'm gonna make 100 offers a day, Tom. I will do it, I was like, dude, like, I was like, just start off with two or three because people say that <laughs> I'm gonna do 100. He done a deal, we just went. He made, and he ended up making about 15 offers in 12 months. 15 offers in 12 months. He said he was going to do 100 a day. I mean, come on, guys. Like, so, and he did have 20 leads coming. That's the thing. Like, he had gum tree leads and other stuff. You've got to remember, guys, you've got to understand who's talking. So your old self just called that, I don't know, Tom 2 to Tom 1 or whatever, right? Obviously, your own name. <laughs> That'd be strange. And your new you is only going to come through taking action, guys, okay? So... You've got to observe where do you let yourself down. These are your patterns, and you have to audit them. For example, it's what Ed Milet talked about in that video. He basically said, what you've got to do is you've got to audit your thoughts. You've got to get them out, and you've got to write them down. Because if you write them thoughts down, your negative thoughts, that's where you catch the pattern. And then it doesn't have the control over you anymore. Let's just say you're, for example, you're doing, you're writing a text, or you're sending a letter, or you're making an offer, and then you're like, YouTube, you get distracted very easy and you don't complete it. Or for example, whatever it is, whatever activity it is, what you've got to do is you've got to catch where are my patterns of self-sabotage? Because even though it thinks, I'm just gonna go get a coffee, I'm gonna go get a cup of tea, or whatever it is, if it's not blocked in, and you don't, look, if you get a cup of tea and you go back and complete the work, <laughs> that's different guys, okay? I'm not on about that, don't take it too literal. But, if you always get distracted every 10 minutes and then you feel crap, that's self-sabotage, guys, because I really believe uh, what Ed talked about. I've actually talked about this for years. You get confidence by the promises you tell yourself and you keep. So if you tell yourself a promise, I'm going to go do this and you don't do it, what's going to happen, guys? Your motivation level is going to be lower, isn't it? Naturally, I have that. I've said, I'm going to go to the gym and I'm like, oh, fuck, I didn't do it. And I'm, I don't feel like, oh, I'm amazing now. I actually feel like, well, I'm a, I'm a bit of a coward, do you know what I mean? We don't say it out loud, but that's what we think. Come on, guys, let's be honest. When you hit the gym, though, or do sports, you might not be where you want to be yet, but you naturally feel better. I don't care. You could be, like, 40 stone or whatever, but you go to the gym, you know, you see some people running that are very, very big. But I congratulate them because in two years, they're going to be slim. They're starting, right? They're actually moving forward, and that's the same in business and finance. But look, I'm going to be honest. The first sort of, it depends when you guys properly get, got started. So if you guys got started right away, you'll be in this molding phase now where success is very close. We've seen that already, right, of some people. Like, some, Zaf's not here today, but he's got a lot closing in, and it's a lot of money. You know what I mean? He's about to quit his job next month. He's literally made, like, near... But, <laughs> true, true. Um, but, you know, like, to be honest... He's built the discipline, but he's threw himself in. It's probably, it's like a do or die for that, 
that kid, okay? Um, because I've spoken to him, I know his sort of mindset and his fuel behind why he wants it. So he's having to do things that are very uncomfortable. But he's got momentum faster in about the first 12 weeks or whatever. Some of you guys, that are you, who feels like they're just starting? Be honest, like just sort of starting properly, like in terms of it clicks moving forward. Who feels like the last month has just started? Okay, last couple of months? Okay, so everyone's different in that way, but really you're gonna start finding your groove within the first, I don't know, normally, depends on your action, 60, 90 days, some people take longer. Some people don't get started for three or four months. So some people said like six months in, now I feel like I'm just getting started, right? Because, because of this old self is as every time you move forward here, guys, everyone see this, yeah? Everyone see this? Yeah. Every time you move forward here, you get tugged back because your patterns are, you know, just call it SS, self-sabotage. It's like pullback, distractions, social media, YouTube, uh, another course. You shouldn't be learning other courses because it's, getting, you, it's so much conflicting information. It's a waste of money. You should put it in marketing. And you should be focused only on mindset courses, anything that develops your inner your inner, meaning it gives you more belief, more confidence, because it's going to be so conflicted. Because if you can't even start making free offers a day, how the heck are you going to implement service departments, rent to rents, land, commercial, develop? It's just impossible. It's literally impossible. You will fall flat on your face. You'll get discouraged and you'll think property doesn't work. And when that happens, you're at a place where there's no return then. Um, it's so hard to get back on. Because I've seen people that were about to do a deal and they're working at a pub for 7 20 an hour. Um, so, I'm not saying that's you guys, but people have done that. I've seen it, okay? So, to stop that, that's why I've implemented a lot of this deep training in to help you with neurosis where people get so distracted they can't move forward. So, what happens when you move forward? You get pulled back here and you, and you get distracted by your old self. This is your subconscious mind. Like what Ed was saying on that video, you know, we have 80,000 thoughts or a specific amount, right? It's around that. And 90% of them are the same as yesterday. And they're the same as 10 years ago. They're negative, they're programmed. They're like having your, your phone with a load of glitchy apps. You just can't work the phone at all. Um, it just won't hear it, right? It's so distracted. That's what people really struggle with, distraction. And like Warren Buffett and Bill Gates, they know something about business, guys. They're multi-billionaires. It's coming from focus. That's where success comes. But what people don't talk about, that's what's annoying about a lot of the that's why I love Grant Cardone and other people that have financially done well. They're helping people with the mindset, Tony Robbins. A lot of the other billionaires, they're like, they just don't even care. You know, they're just like, I'll do my stuff. I don't want to talk about how I overcome this. They don't really, they don't do YouTube, right? Um, but there's a lot of guys out there. Grant Cardone doesn't have to do YouTube or anything. They could just not do it. But they do it because it's the only way to really get people results. Otherwise, everyone you see at all these seminars that go to, every property seminar out there, they would all be successful, wouldn't they? But they're not because they're not applying this stuff. Okay, so you've got to ask yourself a question, guys, and I'll ask you this, is what patterns, you don't have to say it out loud, but what patterns do you get involved in or participate in that stop you from gaining momentum? Okay, guys, so you start thinking about that and write it down in your own time today. What patterns do you do? Is it, I need more info? I'm not ready yet. The people that say they're not ready yet, they're going to be in the grave. Do you know what I mean? I'm not ready yet. I've never been ready to do anything. Like, do you know what I mean? No one's ready, guys. We, we've got life is very like that. It's not like this all the time. Do you know what I mean? I was talking just now um, with Don. We were talking about um, like challenges and stuff like that. When you start to transform yourself and you know where you're going, which I'll talk about goals in a second. It's so important you get clear on what you want. When you have a goal, a clear goal that you don't change, by the way. Imagine if your goal was 50 grand a month and you didn't waver, waver from that goal, even though you had a challenge. Or 10 grand a month or five grand, whatever it is for you. Imagine if you didn't then go lower. Well, that will force you to become the person that's doing it. Because if you're speaking to a guy that is making 50 grand a month, they go, yeah, here's how I do it. And they believe everything they're saying. But someone here be like, ah, no, yeah, I can make 50 grand a month, but really their actions don't back up. Does that make sense, guys? Yes? yes. Yep, cool. Yes, guys, a bit louder. Yes. So you guys are engaged, right? Um, great public, speak, uh, public speaking tactic, just ask a question twice. <laughs> 
10 grand, please. <laughs> Seriously, it works. But yeah, we need to be engaged, right? We need to make sure we're absorbing this. But you guys get that, but here's the thing. The, you, you're not going to learn it straight away. You know when you've come on a webinar, a lot of you guys come on a webinar, and I might be saying the same thing, or Sam's saying the same thing. There's only so much things we can say, right? Whoever it is, you're learning for Tony Robbins, or learning for different self-development. You've heard the same thing, but it resonates with you differently. Who's had that? So you've heard the same thing because repetition is so important, guys. You continuously repeat in your mind and you go, oh, yeah, yeah, that relates to me in my life right now. Okay, so you have to make sure you identify what patterns are holding you back, guys, to create a new you. So the new you is already doing 20 grand. So if your goal is to make 20 grand a month, that's your goal here. What does this person do? How do they think? How do they behave? What actions do they do? Who do they hang around with? How, you, what do they participate in on a daily basis? You've got to ask yourself that. What does this new person do? That this old person won't. So you've got to make sure, guys, you're really starting to take your mind a lot seriously. And I'm going to write down some exercises that truly help me. Because I've not talked about everything I've done. I feel like I it's quite extreme. So I think people probably wouldn't participate. But do you want me to share what I did to transform my mind? Yeah, yeah. Right? Yes. From a spotty teenager from a council state which is running the business from my bedroom with my brother sleeping on the floor with like literally, like it wasn't like some, some people are really bad, but it was not good. It wasn't good conditions, but I was, I always put myself in the successful person. I was like, how does it feel to be on the beach in Hawaii? I was always visualizing because it's powerful. These studies now are proving meditation. Uh, all these, all these exercises, you know, binaural beats. I don't just go, oh, yeah, listen to some binaural beats for a joke. Do you know what I mean? They actually, they're proven to change your brain waves, meaning that you now feel better and you're a different person. So imagine, guys, if you had the brain of this person that could easily make, say, 20 grand a month, you could travel the world, you could do what you wanted. How do they think and how do they behave? So that's where your rituals come in. Does that make sense, guys? Yeah. So I'm just going to say what I did. And here's the thing, guys, like you're going to have at the start, that's why I asked you the question earlier. Some of you guys might feel like you've just started, you're 90 days in. What's going to happen <coughs> is you're going to have to... Here's what I think with success. There's two ways of it because there's two school of thought. I see where people say you take massive action, work hard and stuff like that. And I understand that. And then there's people that just every deal just happens for them. Who's seen that? Just some people just like, this falls into place. They just seem like there's no effort. For example, it'd be like Volta and stuff like that. I mean, I was with him in Dallas. He was closed in on seven deals. And he laughed. He goes, people think I've been doing it for years. He goes, Tom, I didn't know anything about property or marketing eight months ago when I joined you. Like, that's what he said. And, you know, that was it. He said, but everyone thinks I've been doing it. Why? Because he's visualized himself as that person. So you believe it because he does. When you believe in something, power of influence is when you believe in what you're saying even could be made up and that person believes that so if you think if your mind's like that person's been doing it for years that's because they're they believe in themselves so much of what they're doing and what they're about to do that you believe it for example some people they haven't done deals you might be going to networking and you look at someone if you network and we've had that Sam we know who's going to be successful so you can just tell that person's going to be successful, not because they have specialized knowledge or they speak really well. It's just because there's something different about them. I always talk about Jag when, when I first met him. He was a very shy, very nervous guy. He couldn't really, uh, Jag not to knock you here, but uh, this is actually a compliment <laughs> for you if you're listening to the recording. He could, it was like this. Hey, Tom, yeah, 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 all right, cool. He, but the guy fucking put action because he knew what he wanted. He knew what he wanted. He knew he was full-time living uh, in, sat in North, pharmacist, struggling, no property experience, but he put himself in where he wanted to be. And he was considered, I don't know how much deals the guy's done, but he's done, he's making more than most people make, right? Full-time. So he, be, he was able to quit his job. He, he was only allowed to do that in our group. There was only about, I think that three people quit quit their job, I think, that year. So three people did it out of about 25 or something like that. Some other people did deals, but they were the, that thing was, well, Chris done really well and it was Jag, wasn't it, in that group? Yeah. 
What they did is, again, they made that transformation. They turned up every day for the webinars, for the events, for the seminars, and they backed up their words of action, okay? So, there's two schools of thought here. You've got the, this was gonna happen along your journey, guys. Now, I call this like, uh, there's like grit, and then there's no effort. Not meaning you don't put action in, but because you already know how to do it, it's pretty easy. This is what I truly believe from my experience. At the start, what's gonna happen is you're gonna have to put in a lot of grit, meaning action. It's almost like you're getting out of quicksand. It's like, ah, oh, God, you got these people almost pulling you back. And that's our old self, like our little demons in us that are pulling our, pulling our back all the time. <laughs> you're moving forward and you get pulled back. You're moving forward, you get pulled back. And that's what I've had a lot of the time in my life, guys. So I've had this in my life a lot of the time. And what's gonna happen is when you live it and breathe it, it's quite easy to do. So if you said to me, Tom, can I be your partner? We can do two free deals a month. It's, it's pretty damn easy to be honest. Like I wouldn't even, it's like cool. That's, yeah. I don't need to even think about it. Same as Sam. And that's not to say that in an arrogant douchey way, but it's not, is it? Because you've done it. But at the start, there's a lot of grit. And Sam would agree at the start, not saying that we don't have to put effort in now, but it's not as hard because it's the same as anything in life, right? The gym. At the start, when you go to the gym, you feel a bit dorky or awkward. I remember when I first went and I lifted this big weight, I was like, yeah, I can go on to the bench press and it just fell on me and I'm like, uh, help. And I saw this little Asian kid do the same. I was just like, oh man. But what did I do? I kept going back and I kept going back to the gym to, to I did wasn't like, oh no, I can't lift a weight, I'm gonna quit. Do you know what I mean? I didn't do that. Most people, they have a sales call, three or four, and they're like, oh, this is too hard. No, no, it's hard now. In two months, it's gonna be easy. Does that make sense, guys, yes? Yeah. So the grit is where well, you have to put some effort in, meaning you have to put you know, more hours and more dedication because, goes quite deep on this, but when you're taking action, the quality of the action is not as good because you have a lot of emotions. Will it work? It better work. I need it to work. Oh my God, will it work? You know, telling yourself, you like, wake up in the morning, it's gonna work in the morning, in the evening, it's not gonna work. Then it's gonna work again. It's not gonna work. It's gonna work, it's not gonna work. What happens, guys, is you are getting, you're, you're here, you get pulled back. It's here, you get pulled back. That's why it's important to apply these principles, some of you guys are already doing them, which is amazing, and some of you guys are starting to do some, like for example, exercise or little things like, you know, studying self-development, going to seminars, uh, you know, studying people, for example, it could be good people around you, Grant Cardone, Tony Robbins, you know, we're in the best time in history, guys, we can put an audio book in, uh, on, sorry, and tap into years and years of knowledge, years and years of wealth. It's a very special time, honestly, and we take it for granted. Would you agree, guys? We do take the internet for granted. Yeah. We really do. And I, I've been waking up and I'm like, hang on a minute, every successful person I've studied, like all the top athletes, they're like, oh yeah, I got unlimited power by Tony Robbins. They're like, oh yeah, I put unlimited power. I'm like, this is cr every successful person, everyone, everyone's got different takes on it. But observe every successful athlete, they're all into self-development some way. I don't get anyone, it's insane. I've never found someone that isn't like, yeah, it's down to belief. No one, it has to be, right? Otherwise they couldn't be Usain Bolt if he didn't believe in it and then back it up with actions, right? Or Cristiano Ronaldo or all these people, the top people in the world. For example, Denzel Washington, if you look at some of his stuff, some of his videos talks about belief and faith and keep going after it, you know, when you get rejected, etc., etc. They all have this belief. But I believe it comes from the initial grit you have to have. So you've got to put more effort in, you have to put more dedicated hours, and you have to start to do more to get yourself focused. You have to do different things. For example, it feels a bit geeky and dorky adding that in, but if you think you're doing a lot now, you have to 10x it with quality action. Not crappy action, quality action. Because then you're gonna be a third in front than if you set a goal at say 10 grand a month. If you stretch yourself, if you give yourself stretch goals where you're forced to get out of your comfort zone, you're gonna grow. And that person, for example here, if you set yourself a goal, I don't know, to do 20 grand in the next 60 days, if you set yourself 10, you're only gonna do them actions to get you there. 
if you set yourself a goal of 20 grand, you're forced to do more actions. That makes sense, right? So even if you fall 50% of your goal, you're still hitting the 10 grand mark, okay? So you have to give yourself stretch goals as well. It's really important. I'm gonna talk about goal setting in a second, but the whole point about what I'm trying to say is, guys, is your old self is here. And this old self, you have to really write this down. Go, old self, be honest with yourself. Don't go, oh, I'm perfect, I'm an angel, I have no fear. We all have devils in us. We all have these things in us that we don't want anyone to know. We all have these bad habits, these addictions, these fears, these, you know, all these things. Everyone has them. You can't hide, guys. We're human beings for crying out loud. But it's like, okay, am I going to let that dictate my success and quit? Or am I going to be honest with myself, observe what I've got that's holding me back? Because happy people and people that are confident become successful. You can't feel depressed and get successful. It's very, or you get there and you're like, oh, I feel depressed again. You have to make sure, guys, you clear, cleanse whatever's holding you back. And you do that through different exercises. They all work. Some are going to be more preferable to you. Some people don't really want to do meditation. Some love it. Who likes meditating here or sort of is into it? That's awesome. I can sort of tell the people that are into meditation because there's no, you know, I don't know, it's more centered. But some people enjoy like walking or exercising or weight training or sports, badminton, tennis, football. Like it doesn't have to always be a meditation, but it's got to be something that gets you in that right frame of mind, that brain waves, right? It has to be that. So I'm going to give you a list of things because we've got a lot to go through today. But I'm going to give you a list of things I've done and I'm going to score them out of 10 from my experience. <laughs> And then you guys can talk. So I'm going to give you a list of everything I've done to transform my mind. And I wish you guys would have met me back in 2010, 2011. I was a completely different person. So very different. And even to last year, I feel very different. And the year before, I feel like a new person. Because you're always growing. Okay? Because I'm giving myself stretch goals where I'm forced to grow. Okay, guys? You want to grow, right? Yes? Yes. yes. Good. Some of you guys are not saying yes. So listen to recording. But I've talked about this a lot on webinars on the mindset tradings, but honestly, not everyone will say it. Some people do this unconsciously. They naturally do it. Okay, some people aren't into the self-development game as much as other as much as other as other people, sorry. I'm getting excited now, the caffeine. But they do it for sure. Okay? So you must understand, push yourself and give yourself a stretch goal. What I want you guys to do is I also want you guys to start chipping in with this as well, okay? I want you guys to start thinking what has helped you, what can you adopt in your daily routine? Okay, so here's what I feel in, in life. Like most people, what happens is they lose themselves. They don't, their day is like, uh, they don't know what they're doing each day, guys. And if you don't know what you're doing each day, if you don't have a clear goal of who you want to become each day, you're not gonna be able to get there. So I really believe this from my experience is when you're moving forward in life, guys, you have to make sure that you focus on each day like it's your last day, as cheesy as that sounds. Like seriously, you've got to understand that life, we've got, right, 365 days in a year, right? However years you live. You live 20 years, 30 years, 50 years. Some people do, right? It's sad. 100 years, 150 years, right? We figure out we can, our bodies can live for 200 years. Okay, great, well that's still a time span. And would you agree is our whole life it consists of days. It's broken down in days. And most people do not get the best out of their day. So it's getting the most out of your day, guys, and it's by asking yourself questions such as, if I accomplish this today, would I feel incredible? If I got this done today, would that make me feel proud of myself? If I was honest, would I feel more free? Would I have more clarity? What can I do today that's gonna blast through my fear barrier? That if I did it, I would feel incredible, right? And you don't have to be perfect, guys. Here's the thing. The enemy of human beings is they think they've got to be perfect. Where is perfection? It doesn't exist. It's a made up myth. So then we get into, we compare ourselves with others. We lose that motivation. We start to not trust ourselves anymore. We don't believe in ourselves. So if you keep the promises you tell yourself, you're going to get more confident. And if you do this in your life, 
as a holistic version of you and you keep your promises of exercise, you keep your promises of making phone calls, taking massive action and you keep them daily, over 365 days, in a year you guys are gonna be like, whoa, I've kept them, now they're a habit. Now you have to keep them, now you've made a transformation, right? Now you've actually made a transformation. If you don't keep them daily routines, your mind's gonna get stronger. Your, you know, call it inner demons, your subconscious, it's gonna get stronger. And with the subconscious mind, it doesn't know the difference between, it doesn't know truth or a lie. So if you tell yourself over and over again that you're a stud, that you're incredible, that you're, you're successful, and you keep telling yourself that, and it, it will stop finding evidence. That's the power of the mind. It will look for evidence. But with the RAS, I've talked about that. It will start finding evidence of why you're successful. It will start drawing people in, hearing conversations. When at these seminars, you'll pick up things that you didn't pick up before. If you're like, oh, I'm not gonna be successful, it's hard. Oh man, I'm never gonna do a deal. There's no deals out there. You're right. Your brain will find evidence of why you're correct. Because your RAS wants to keep up with your image. You've got a personality about yourself. I'm someone that's been hard done by. Who cares? Everyone has. Doesn't matter. We don't want to live from the past, guys. You want to live from the present. And the only way you're going to be able to absorb what I teach, what Sam teaches, the only way you're going to be able to be a top successful student and really make yourself proud is by transforming your old shitty self that got you to where you are. Okay, guys? Because we all have these shitty selves in us. As weird as that sounds, right? It's actually success that we are here. Yes, exactly. Oh, yes. Yeah, it, well, it's... It, it's success, it's success, but then we need to see what comes from that as well. Because there's so much people that talk, but you've got to back it up and live it, which uh, you will. <laughs> you will. But most people don't. And here's the thing, because they get the high off the seminars and don't absorb it into their life. So it's absorbing it into your life. So congratulations, you're here, guys. And I love every single one of you. Um, I really do. My whole mission is just to keep teaching and helping people through many channels of what I've learned in my life. But you have to make sure that you don't think it's me. For example, it's like, I see Tom, I'm going to get motivated, right? Like you don't want that, you want to go, I feel motivated. So when you hit a low, you can keep getting back up, right? So you've got to observe the human. So the routine, guys, is what I like to do, is I like to ask myself the question, if I accomplish this today, would I feel incredible? It's not just, oh, about money, because there's people in life that make money and are not happy. I really believe this. When you make progress, you feel incredible. Would you agree, guys? If you can make a little bit of progress, you feel good, yes? Yep. Yeah. It's about progress. So ask yourself, if I could do this thing today, if I could accomplish this action, get this little thing off my list that I've had for so long, if I could do this and accomplish this, would it make everything else easy? Because it's a battle with your mind. Your mind's going, no, don't do it. Don't make the phone calls. You're not good enough yet. Blah, 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 all this crap, right? So you have to ask yourself intelligent questions to get better answers and start focusing. If I did this today, would I feel incredible? So ask yourself that question. Another um, routine I would start doing is, again, just wake up an hour earlier, which I didn't do today. <laughs> no, seriously, wake up an hour earlier. A little thing like that, why? Because you can have quiet time to yourself. You can have some time for yourself to think because if you've got chaotic things around you, your work, everyone's got demands on you all the time, you need to make sure you adopt that in your life. So wake up an hour earlier and I recommend you start to again, get clear, review your goals. Review goals, okay, for the day. And I'll talk about goals in a second with you. So make sure you review your goals. You, what do I want to accomplish today? And start with three things. Create a little list and go, okay, what is three things that I need to do today to fucking combat, right? What am I going to go out and fucking accomplish? Because if you don't, what happens is you're like, what do I do today? And life's, you're like a little packet of crisps in the wind. Boom, boom, you're just getting on oh, social media, YouTube, Instagram. What do I do today? Malcolm, tell me. What do I do? I don't know what I'm doing. What do I do on this seminar? I don't even know. You don't even know. There's no... There's no focus. You've lost focus and that's what happens to people. They don't know where they're going. So they don't turn up to seminars, they don't turn up to the webinars. They don't take calls because it's almost like what I talked about earlier. Well, Sam and Tom told me, and so they said we got to do this and it's like having a school teacher at school tell you do your homework. Is that homework gonna get done 
with ease and excitement or resistance, eventually you're going to want to quit school, aren't you? So you have to know why you're fucking here, guys. You have to get clear for you, not for me. You have to get clear. Why am I doing it? What do I want out of life? And how are these daily routines going to make me hit that goal faster? Because it's not just about hitting goals, guys. The goals are this. They pull you. You're here. You get pulled from, he from here to here. You can't have push goals. You can't have that. For example, I need to push my way to success. Who's tried that in this business, guys? Push. Does it feel good? You end up quitting, right? Or you end up losing momentum. You've got to have a pull. If you have a pull, this business is going to be so much more easier, so much more, in more enjoyable. You're going to connect with more people. You're going to feel more confident. And you're going to be in a position where you're, you're going to have a lot more success faster. I'm not saying it's like some get-rich-quick scheme magic thing that happens. But if you transform your mindset, you can accomplish it in any business you can do well. Any business. Because you've got the right mindset. So that mindset, you get, the, you get the skills. Most people aren't here because guess what? They have a lot of people I actually know that are not here because they can't make it, so I'm not talking to you guys. I'm talking to the guys that don't turn up because subconsciously they, it's, it's, it's a self-sabotage thing. Why would you pay for anything, guys, and not show up? Why would you not show up consistently? Why would you not go at it with everything you can? Because you've got the old shitty self that doesn't want you to succeed. <coughs> that wants to hold you back. But the people that show up, that's incredible. The people that hear what Neto is saying about being proud to show up, that is true. You have, to, you have to be like, actually, I showed up here. How can I keep doing that daily now? That's the key. If you don't do it daily, you're screwed. Because I know so much people that have told me a story. Do you know how much pers people I've sat face-to-face -face in a cafe real, 300, 400 people that have told me this. Near enough, no one has done what they said they were going to do. No one. That's fucking crazy, guys. Do you know what I mean? There was like two, maybe. Two or three. And they're like wildly successful because obviously they're a bit more clear in their, their mind and emotions. They just a bit more, have a bit more clarity in their life. They have less burdens, right? So get rid of that, right? So wake up an hour earlier, review your goals. This is what I do, but I also rewrite my goals because there's something powerful about writing things down. So I like to, if I write down my goals in the morning, and they fell over, don't laugh. Um, I like to keep writing down my goals. I actually do it about five times a day. I write them down. I like to do it actually physically on a piece of paper for what I want to accomplish that day. So let's just say it's five offers, write it down, five offers, because your brain, your RES, and we're going to go over it right now, but you need to research your reticular activating system, it gets what's familiar in your life. If you're obsessed with phone calls, you will just, and deals, you're just going to do deals, because you're obsessed about it. Okay? So make sure you do that. Rewrite your goals. I do it, um, obviously that's quite extreme, but you might want to do it in, your, in the morning, and evening, okay? So rewrite your goals, do that. Who's writing down their goals now? Their daily goals they want to accomplish. Writing, raise your hands. So who's not writing down their goals? So what you want to accomplish? Do you not have like a, what I want to achieve list today? Yeah, I haven't been consistent with it. Oh, you do it. I, I have a list. Yes, yes, yeah, yeah, awesome. But do it, honestly guys, do it because it, you know when you write things down, you just go, it just, something happens. I don't know, it's like, oh, it's become more real now. It's so simple, it takes five minutes, but do it. What else are you doing? Uh, wake up in the morning, you're just like, um, what are you doing? Brushing your teeth, what are you thinking about? So why wouldn't you just sit down, grab a coffee, relax, chill, take a few deep breaths, write down your goals. What do I want to achieve? It's very simple, but that's because we're very messy. You know, We've got a lot of stuff holding us back. Or we just don't believe it. Or some of you guys are here, and it's just like, oh, I better turn up. But I don't really want to do it. You're done then. You can't have that, guys. Because I've seen that too many people. You have to be like, I want to be here. It shouldn't be push. It should come in here. Should be excite an excitement. I went to Dallas. I go to Dallas for masterminds. I spent like four grand just to go to the masterminds. Thirty-six grand a year. Do you know what I mean? Like, I'm not like looking to just go. And I want to absorb everything. I'm like, okay. And I'm observing everyone. I'm seeing what where the failures, where people are doing. I'm listening to people in the masterminds. I'm listening to who's done well, 
who's also not doing as well, even though they can, they're amazing people, they can do incredible stuff, but I'm observing, I'm like, okay, they're not doing that good, why? Oh, because of this. And I'm writing it down I'm, and I'm cognizing, even Volta said that, he's like, good Lord, Tom, like you, you're, you scan everything and then right, it, was, it was like it was crazy but I was like yeah because I like to s observe people and read people and see where they are and then and look at it in my own life go, actually I'm also doing that I'm procrastinating in this area because I don't think I know enough about tech or something like that which is silly right um, it was a, a belief so I have these same beliefs because I'm looking to grow as well right I'm a human being I want to grow so things that help me guys is um, you can do some meditation and for example, you could like, however you guys do it, I'm not a meditation expert, but it just helps me relax and get my mind in, in, in state. Right now, I don't have all the time to go over it. Just type in meditation benefits, it's insane. There's so much truth to it. I just have no music, just go still and just be and observe my thoughts. So if I observe my thoughts, I like to write a list down. This is what Ed Milet talked about. Write down a list of your negative thoughts. You need to become aware of them, because if there's 80, 90,000 thoughts a day, how much thoughts are you aware of? You know when, for example, you have a bill come in or something tragic happens, or not tragic, but it's like, oh, God, that's, that wasn't good, comes in, you have a thought, right? Now, because it's serious enough, your body's like, and your mind's like, crap, you better come aware of this now, because this is fight or flight. But these thoughts are going on in your mind now. You have thoughts going on in your mind, and you can't do this, or... Who's had that even looked to some successful students and one day thought that's incredible and then next day thought that guy's just a genius? Who's had that? Or that guy's just smart? Well, Costa was being honest. That, that's honest, man, because everyone's had that. Everyone's thought, crap, that guy's amazing. I can't do that. Subconsciously, you've had it. I recommend more of you guys have it and you're not even aware of it. So when you start to meditate, you start to almost, you've got a pile of crap here, right? And if you've got a wardrobe full of Armani, Gucci, or whatever you guys like, I don't know, whatever, whatever amazing clothing you like, Ted Baker, I don't know, you tell me, you shout out. Whatever it is, and you've got a pile, your dog's gone in there and left a pile of crap, it's not good, right? It's like, oh my God, now that's not good. Well, this is all this quality information coming at you, but you've got this big distraction in your mind. Who's had that? When you get goals, you just feel foggy. You're like, I don't know what to do. Right? Who's had it? You feel foggy, you feel clouded, you feel overwhelmed. So you've never said, none of you guys have fucking said you feel overwhelmed. Come on, please. Yeah, well put your hands up guys, be honest. Come on. Um, that's the first step, is being honest, right? Like, that's because your mind's foggy, right? That's because, for example, when I feel overwhelmed, which does happen, I go, I'm either not being honest, or I'm not doing something I know I should do. That's when I feel overwhelmed. I'm either not taking action on, on the things I know I should do, or I'm not being honest to myself, actually going, I'm scared to make calls. I don't think I can do it, you know what I mean? Because when you write these down, you go, oh, I feel so much better now. You know when you write down, for example, all the bills you've got to pay, and you write them down on the list and calculate how much you've got, doesn't it feel better? You, naturally, you're just like, oh man, I feel a lot better. What happened? You just wrote it down on a bit of ink. But because it's a thing out of your mind, right? It's actually out of your mind. It's actually physically, as weird as that sounds, out of your mind. So now, let's not dwell on the negative. How, am I, how can I replace these with positive things? Affirmations, thoughts. So you can start really doing affirmations. I, I really do this, and Tony Robbins uh, quite famous for this. But anyway, there's loads of people that do this. I just, he just very sticks to mind. For example, when you're exercising or physically doing something, you're out of your head. You know when you exercise, you don't feel bad, right? You feel good. You're in, your endorphins are flying around, serotonin, all their good hormones. When you set yourself an affirmation that goes, oh, I'm going to do 10 grand this month, I'm going to do 10 grand this month, and you just get into that mindset, I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it, I'm going to make the calls today. And then you take action from that place, it anchors it in. So instead of going, oh, I'm going to make 10 grand a month today, you know, like, oh, I'm going to do this, and you're sort of like, slouched over, you're distracted, you've got 400 papers all over your desk. It's too messy, right? Who doesn't, who likes feeling amazing? Raise your hands, obviously, right? So if we accomplish the goals, is there some things you, if you're honest, is there some things you know you should do? It doesn't just have to be business related, that if you did, you would feel better. So you've got to write them down, because not just go, like, oh, I'll wait till next seminar and Tom will say, you've actually got to do it, guys. I'm trying to give you things that have helped me. You don't have to take everything, literal what I'm saying. You have to take parts of it and do it. So create that list, and then you've got to go, how am I going to destroy it? That's how I do. I just go, how am I going to destroy it today? 
I'm just like, man, this is like the grit I have in me. It's like, how can I, I'm not, I see fear and negativity and not hit my goals as like a good enemy. It's an enemy that's holding me back, but it fuels me. So how do you respond guys when you, for example, something negative happens to you? Do you go or do you go, yes, let's go. How do you respond? If you have a negative situation in your life, think of negative situations in your life where you had a negative hit and you actually come back stronger. So I think some people, Sam, isn't it, when they come into the business, the illusion is everything's just gonna be like that. Do you know what I mean? And it's like, life's not like that, guys. Like relationships, huh? They always like, oh man, this is gonna be like this every day. Come on, please, come on. Like, get real, do you know what I mean? Like, exactly, correct, correct. Life's like this. But guess what? When there's a challenge comes and you, and you be honest, you can deal with it. Sometimes you've got to let it go. Sometimes you deal with it and you grow. So that's the true, I love the saying is that you're either growing or you're dying. Right there with Sam, he's just grown with that deal. Like, and most people are like, oh man, that sucks. The negative people are like, that's terrible. That's terrible. And they just complain all day. But someone like Sam would be like, okay, that's fucking all. I'd be like, that fucking sucks. Yeah, awesome. Let's go back now and let's see if we can do more. Yeah, I know. I've had it. I had. I was teaching a seminar. It wasn't as big of a deal as that. But I was teaching a seminar. I was teaching a seminar one time, guys. And I remember it was probably 2016. I had a big deal. I can't remember. It was 50, 60, 70 grand fee or something like that. London deal. A Jewish were buying it. Great deal. Um, and I was teaching. I'd done a case study. I was like, it's closing today at five, right? Exchange. The guy gazumped the deal at 450 by 50 grand, so he literally, it was up, for, he was buying it for 500 or something, he dropped it for 50, I'm like, uh, and I'm teaching, do you know what I mean? So I'm here teaching about the deal, I'd done the case study of the deal, and I was like, okay, I went straight back, I, I shared, I said, this fucking sucks, the deal just fell through, guys. And obviously, normally, and I was selling a mentoring course, so <laughs> normally, do you know what I mean? Like, and I told him, I said, guys, this is it, and more people, actually, more people signed up. Because they were like, because I was like, well, here's the deals we did. Here's that deal. And they were like, okay, it's real. Because that's life, guys. If you get out of the delusion of it and actually see it in a positive way, you, that's hard to set, take for some people. They can't see it in a positive way. But what I'm saying is when you do have a goal that's pulling you, crappy things like that will happen, but you can still move forward because you're pulled towards a greater goal. So you have to really get clear, guys, on that. Um, but again, like I said, write down your list and... What does meditation do? It really helps you become aware of what's holding you back. That's the best way I can say. And it relaxes you and it gets your brain waves in a great state. So it actually releases a lot of good things in your brain and it allows you just to relax your body and feel better. That's why a lot of people that meditate, they're obviously a lot more relaxed. They're a lot more focused. You can sit, sit I mean, Sam Ovens is quite funny. Just people go, how do you meditate? He goes, I have nothing. I just stare at a wall for 10 minutes <laughs> and just on a chair and get up after. Like you just <laughs> That guy is insane, but I mean, he has someone talking about focus. Sam Ovens has someone in his house. He's hired a personal trainer in his house. If he gets focused, to sl slap him with a ruler and get back on his laptop. <laughs> Not joking. He has someone. If he gets out and he gets someone to slap it, he pays someone to slap him with a ruler if he loses focus. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he gets someone to smack him like a Zen master. But the guy, the guy, the guy is making 35 million a year at 29. Like, it's doing pretty good. But obviously, do you have to always go to the extremes? No. So for example, there's some big meditators in here that do all this stuff. You can take, you should take good advice from everyone. Take what is relevant to you and use it. There's a lot of teachers out there that I don't agree with everything they're saying, but I get one thing, like, that's awesome. And I take it and apply it and it changes my life because everyone's got different experiences and different life. But that's funny. It's really funny. It's to be honest, it's a little bit over the top. But then again, for example, that works for him, right? He's focused, so I'll talk about this later when we do the hot seats about focus because I'll be able to ask you questions and identify where you're holding back in terms of time. So how you can get more out of time. Who wants to get more out of their time, guys, in their day, right? We all had it, because I've been there, guys, I had two jobs, you know, I remember the crazy household, so I know what it's like. It's, it's, that's why I talked about grit. It's challenging, until you get out of your job, it becomes a little bit more, okay, you've got more time and stuff like that, but it, you have to build some thick skin because yeah, you just have to. So write that list down, write the negative, and I like to do this. I like to put some music on, actually, for me, some binaural beats or some good sort of good feeling music. Um, and I like to actually start to get in my mindset of 
an affirmation where I have music, so it anchors. So ask yourself, what music makes you feel good? You know when you go past and there's some music in London, Piccadilly Circus, and it reminds you of the good times in the past, right? What music evokes a good emotion? And then do your affirmations of music. I find music is not talked about enough. Music's so powerful. I find it's incredible for me personally. So, yeah, it's a great anchor. It just makes you all go, oh, it's, it's just good, right? I remember... Smells. Smells? I was just going to talk about that, but I remember like Blue de Chanel, you know, that after me, me and Kaisa, my friend, were just clubbing in uh, Austin. It was a good time. So every time I smelled that, I'm like, that was hilarious times. Uh, I honestly it always goes back. I'm like, that was funny, man. Um, but it feels good, right? So it's powerful. So smells, any senses, right? Get back to it. I know this isn't property stuff, but believe me, this will help you succeed in property. Because I've gone into many different business avenues and crushed it because it's like, I, I just know I'm going to win. Imagine like, I just know I'm going to win. It's, I don't have any mindset, well, I'm not going to win. I guess I'm going to win for myself, not over people. But imagine if you had that mindset, guys. Any business, this month, you knew you were going to do a deal. 100%. The universe signed off a contract with you and said you're going to do a deal, right? Because I remember when my first deal went through, I was in like shock. Personally, for me, I was like, what the heck? I was just like mind blown. My mind was like, it's the best feeling I've, well, second best feeling. But uh, I'm talking. <laughs> I'm sure what you guys are talking about. <laughs> I stole that from Claude Diamond. I've got to give it to him, that joke. <laughs> For you guys, what, how was the mindset? Uh, it's better now, but it took, a, it took a while because obviously it was just the persistence factor. I mean, we've, we've been doing the mindset thing for about a year now. Anyway. Yeah. But Interesting. When the, when the deal went through, it was like a couple of hours, like, is it real, is it not? And then, yeah, you just sort of think, okay, it's real, on to the next one. You know what I mean? It's almost you know it's real, but there's, a, there's like that... That's what I talked about, like brain fog. It's like a, uh, there's a feeling that is always like saying, it's not though for you. You're busy, you've got your jobs, you know, like there's a lot of people always message me and they go, but this client hasn't got a job though, have they? And I'm like, who cares? Do or die, 28 days to get a deal. You don't have time to go, but that, but that do they have a pet dog? You know, do they, you don't have time for that guys. Like you just gotta go, right? Um, but it helps you give you momentum, right? Yeah. Any more deals? <laughs> Any more cash in the bank? Get some more guys, come on. <laughs> Keep pushing yourself. Yeah, because that's the key thing, that's the danger sometimes when you do a couple of deals, the momentum goes. I talk about that, it's like a success barrier is coming. Oh, I've just made more than I made at my job in a month. Oh, actually, I'll, I'll wait for, you know what I mean? Like you take your, the foot off the gas. Like and maybe, is that, I'm not sure if that's happened or not. Like, They're dangerous sometimes and weeks off, aren't they? Yeah. People are like, fuckers. <laughs> They're like, would they get on the deal in a week off? So I just want to get that first deal, man. But, um, okay, cool. So, all right, guys, cool. So, yeah, that's what's helped me. Um, what has helped me as well is this. So, in terms of goals, who's writing down their goals? Just a raise of hands. In general, writing down their goals. So, very few people, guys, if you write down your goals, it's just going to make you feel much better. I've told you so many times, get it visual, look at it, because you, you don't want to be like, okay, I don't want to have any target to hit. So write down your goals, and what you should do is you've got three lists here, right? So you've got um, your short-term goals. So let's just say 30 to 90 days, and long-term. So long-term, let's just say six months, 12 months, two years, you know, long-term goals, because remember, People really overestimate what they can achieve in a few weeks and really, really, truly underestimate what they can do in a few years. Good Lord. You can, a few years, guys, it's going to go like that. And if you just get yourself, don't have to do 50 habits, just a couple a day that get you in a good frame of mind, you're going to hit your goals, guaranteed. Um, because it's, it's a numbers game, really, at the end of the day. So your short-term goals and your long-term goals, okay? So you've got that focus. And really... What I recommend you do, because a lot of it, we've not even talked about property yet, but this is why it's so important, because you need to have your personal goals and your business. So let's call it biz. So your personal could be your health, because again, if you're not healthy, it doesn't matter how much money you've got in the bank. If you don't feel good and you don't have energy in your body, it's, that's, it not, means nothing, does it? Because money is like, oh, you don't take that with you. Um, maybe you do, I don't know. <laughs> personal and biz. So your personal goals, who could tell me some personal goals, right? You've got health. What else, guys? Have fun. 
No, it's business. Oh, okay. Personal goals and business. Personal? Come on, guys. Your relationships must be crap. <laughs> Is your relationships okay, guys? Relationship goals, right? Because I'm going to talk... Oh, please, guys. Uh, right. L listen, to, listen to what I'm saying. I shared a study. They observed the happiness study. Most happy people, the most successful millionaires, and happy, not just people that are millionaires, that happy, would do to their social and relationships. If you don't have that sorted, if I didn't have an amazing girlfriend that supports me every step along the way, my brother that supports me every step along the way, no matter what I do, anything I say is support. If I didn't have that, I couldn't be here, no bad doubt. Because naturally, guys, we're a tribe of humans. Who feels good when they connect here and you leave and you can just connect with people here, right? You feel good. Some people are more lone wolves, but everyone likes tribal and connection. So if you're not focused on this, which it looks like it's not, your relationships aren't, then what's going to happen is every time you step back, you're going to have someone in your ear telling you what you're doing. And that's going to hold you back. Believe me, because I've had it. I had, to, I had to cut, like, many people, right? So I'm not saying you need 50 people, because I only have a three or four close people, right? But it's good. It's like me having a team and everyone's negative in it. It just, come on, like, how the heck are you going to be able to accomplish anything great? So really focus on that, guys. And I'm sort of joking, but I'm not as well. Focus on your friendships, your your relationships and focus on goals in that area. How can I make it better? How can I be more beautiful? How can I be more loving? How can I be more supportive? How can I grow? How can they grow with me? You know, they don't have to be into property. Like, Laurie's not into freaking real estate, you know what I mean? But she's like, awesome, that's great. Oh, client do a deal, oh, that's amazing. I'm so happy for them, you know? Just good stuff. It's not like, oh, fuck them. Like, you know, like some people, some people like that. And that's funny, but <laughs> some people couldn't care. You know, so it's important, let's be honest, to be around people that make you feel good. I really believe that in anything in a team or anything, people that are kind, people that look after you and, and support you, is, I think it's really important. And it doesn't get talked about enough. Would you agree, guys, right? It doesn't get talked about enough in business stuff because, obviously, they're, just, they're not focused on it. But I think that's important. So personal goals, you could say health. You could say relationships, social gatherings. You know, you guys really building friends because, you know, I've done that, we've done that. You know, I've got Thomas coming to see me next next weekend. You know, we're filming a podcast. We've got a new software coming out. Um, I think where Thomas come from, you know, he's he's done. He's really doing some big things now. You know, he started off with with nothing. Now he's really succeeding. He's financially free. He's he's doing a lot of other stuff with me because I like to do that. I like. I know he's a, he's a good friend, a good buddy of mine, right? So. I've talked about that a lot with them behind the scenes, obviously, about you know who you're around and who you become. The average of the five people you're around, who you're influenced by, right? Is that's who you become. The people you absorb and you're around. So if you're around people that are beautiful, loving people that want to grow, not perfect, but they want to grow, it really does have a big influence on you. Like this group, you know, when you meet people, you're like, oh well, they're actually telling me everything they're doing. They're not holding anything back. They're being honest of their deals. Like it really helps, guys. Okay, so get that sorted. I'm just going to be keep this real short. The health. I recommend do some form of exercise, fast walking, weights, um, yoga. I don't know what you guys do. I can't stand yoga myself. I mean, I'm just, I tried stretching, but I just end up, oh, good Lord. Um, it's not for me. But exercise, why? Because it releases, ha what if I gave you a happy drug right now? Makes you feel, let's just say your state went up. I gave you this pill and you felt, oh, I just feel good. I just feel, I want to engage with people. I want to high five them. I feel good. That's exercise. Half an hour a day, 20 minutes a day. Who's starting to do that? Be honest, starting to incorporate that? Is it making you feel better? If it makes you feel more clear, that's the best advice I could say. And uh, this is from what I've observed. And, you know, Volta has his team exercising a team. His team. He makes them exercise. He makes them do this. He makes them do that. Because why? Because it really helps everyone's confidence. And if you've got confident, happy people, you're going to have... A prosperous business, right? You can't be miserable and get success because it's so hard to take action. So that exercise just gives you that. It's not going to make you feel incredible every second, but it's going to give you that bit of momentum. But guess what it builds, really? It's a D word. Not what you guys don't <laughs> vocalize any rude stuff. This is a very polite <laughs> seminar. Drive. Discipline. Yeah. Discipline. It builds discipline. And discipline is you know, what we're talking about there. So, again, that really helps. Um, I, I've talked about water. I, I, I'd had a document about the study. I mean, water is, is very good for focus. I probably have, like, two or three liters a day. Um, I just find it really helps me with energy and keep me focused and clear 
and you yeah, just feel light when I have water. So you can have that as well, write that down. Um, and little things, you know, there's many, I recommend you get, there's a great book uh, called The Ultra Mind Solution. It's quite extreme, you don't have to take everything from it, but it talks about how turmeric, uh, certain things can release like deficiencies that we have that can lead to anxiety. So if you guys don't have to put your hand up for this, if you guys suffer from anxiety, depression, and stuff like that, sometimes food can have a lot to do with that. But you can check the book out. Believe what you want. He, the guy's got tons of studies on it, and it's just very interesting. I'm not applying everything, but I am applying. He gives you like a little challenge to do, and it's very powerful. So it's called the Ultra Mind Solution. So you guys might want to check that book out. Um, there's another great book talking about focus. It's called Deep Work. Um, it's really powerful, okay? It talks about deep work, and again, it's focused work. It's quality work. When I talked about hard work and like other stuff, sometimes you can just do one or two things extremely well. Really, really good. You don't have to do a million things. You could be crap at a lot of stuff, but one or two things, you've got deep work in it, you're really focused, you can, be re you can get a lot done. So that's really powerful. So write down these guys, uh, these guys, these goals. Short term, 30 days, 60 days, 90 days. What do I want to achieve? Okay, and then your long term. You've got six months, 12 months, let's just say 24 months. Okay, and here's the question I'm going to ask you before we get into all the tactics and strategies and all that good stuff is I want to ask you this question, guys. And to be honest, I asked you it earlier. Who's using a calendar at the moment? The time, okay. So make sure you use a calendar, guys. Otherwise, you're going to be so overwhelmed. Use a calendar, right? Because otherwise, if, you, if you're not productive, if you're not managing your time, yet you're saying you're struggling with time, which you probably do behind the scenes every day, then you've got yourself to blame, OK? Use a calendar. Help keep things in place. And what you want to do is you want to chunk it. So I'll, I'll, show you, I'll show you the calendar in a second. I'll bring it up just to give you an example after this, but every day I've got the ROI actions calendar. What that does is every day you put in, what did you do that day, right? What did you do that day? And you've got your clear goals, your 30 day goals, your 60 day goals, your 90 day goals. And again, a goal, let's be honest, what do people say? I, I need more time to hit my goal. Yet people waste their time. So they say I need more time, yet people waste their time. And time's the most greatest asset, it's not money. If you had a week to live, it wouldn't be the money you had, it'd be the time. So, mon uh, so time's so important. So you want to chunk your time, but again, there's a daily task list. So you've got to ask yourself, is this action that I'm doing today going to support me in hitting my goals? Just that question to yourself. Is that action I'm doing today going to support me in hitting my goal? Because if I hit my goal, what's the outcome? So that comes to your why. You have to have a reason for why you're hitting your goal. Why do I want to hit my goal? What's the purpose? If I hit this goal, what feelings will I get? What confidence will I get? How will it make change my mindset? Because it's so key, guys, you get this done. So it's very clear. I wouldn't focus a lot of this stuff on the goals if people weren't doing it. But I know human beings, and they don't do it. It takes a lot of, you guys will do it, but it takes repetition because the mind's so stubborn, the brain is so stubborn, it's, it's unreal. So again, make sure you start writing these tasks down. Now here's what you do. You ask yourself, you've got the people around you in your life. So you say, what people did I speak on LinkedIn with, or Facebook with, or an email with, or my social life, that have anything to do with you hitting your goal. They have anything to do. So your time you're spending, do they have any interaction, any participation in you hitting your goal, guys? It's normally zero. You'll be <coughs> staggered, guys. You'll be, you'll be like, what the heck? I can't believe it. So you'll ask yourself that question. Do these people have anything to do with me actually hitting my goal? Are they going to influence that? OK? So you do that. So you do that by monitoring your daily actions. If you do this, because remember, you've got your goal, right? I want to do, this is with our challenge that we're going to talk about in a second. I want to get to 10 grand a month. I want to hit this. I want to make sure I hit it. You've got, we've got 30 days, right? To do a deal or whatever. You've got all these days here. If these days are, there's no focus, so focus is gone. 
I mean there's no consistency, whatever, that's gone. And the people have nothing to do with you actually hitting that goal. Is that going to be a bit overwhelming and a burden, guys? Yes? yes? Okay, so observe this stuff because a lot of the people that you're interacting who's interacting with people, I'm not talking about like your wife or your husband or anything like that, right? But I am talking about sometimes, guys, like you've got to have that focus in the start of the business. You've got to have grit behind it because if your whole goal is to change your life and your family's life, then you're going to have to sacrifice some stuff. Let's just be real. Do you know what I mean? Let's just get real, guys. You're going to have to sacrifice things in the short term to be able to enjoy the long term of doing what the heck you want on a Tuesday random on Tuesday afternoon, if you really want. You don't have to tell, tell someone telling you, go here, do this. You don't have that. But right now, what people do you have in your life that are not supportive? So before we get into it, it's the last thing. Your people around you. So they said the, you're the average of the five people you, you spend the most time with. Uh, and it's not just actually in person, it could be on podcasts or seminars or, or something like that. So if you're studying from people that are truly living it. So I really believe this. If you're around five people here a lot and you're speaking to people, all right, whatever. Okay, there's five people around you and you're not learning from people that are where you want to be or they're growing consistently. Let's just say these guys are growing. People that are pushing you, supporting you, encouraging you, pushing you forward, propelling you forward, uh, and making you get out of your comfort zone, or they just support you and love you for what you do and they just trust you, right? This is so important because, again, studies prove this. It's proven to affect how you feel. And how you feel is so important, right? And that affects what action you take. So if you feel like crap, do you want to pick up the phone? No, no guys. If you feel good, do you want to pick up the phone? So the key is getting into that feeling of feeling good. But then you've got to ask yourself, what makes me not feel good? Who is already identifying what doesn't make them feel good? Raise your hands. And, can, and who's gonna, who knew this and still didn't take action? Raise your hands. OK, good. So I'm sure a lot of you guys have stuff in your life that doesn't make you feel good. Otherwise, I do. Definitely. Of course I have things that I do in my life that don't make me feel good, or I think. So I'm uh, still doing this as well. But when you do it, it's incredible. But one thing is true, though. If you look in my life and observe my life, I have people that support me, and that's it. I don't have that, because I, I don't have time for it. I've got too much to do. I've got too much to accomplish. I want to change hundreds of millions of lives. I, don't, I can't be around people that are like, but you can't do that. You can't do that, though. <laughs> Costello, you can't do that. 10 grand a month? Really? From the beach? Really? That's hard. If, why would he teach it if he's, the, why, you know, all these things, right? That doesn't make, like, I, I don't know about you, Sam, people around you, but if you had people around you that were consistently telling you you can't do this, that's bullshit, that's crap. I'm sure you've had that in the past, yeah. right? Like, this is crap, why are you doing this? What's this property stuff you're doing? What did you do personally for you? I got rid of them. <laughs> <laughs> a few occasions where I've had people in my life that too negative and I just don't have the time for it. So I'll give you a really good example. So um, I used to manage 200 salespeople um, and they were broken down into various teams. And if you have what I always used to call a bad egg, so somebody that was, for whatever reason, negative, um, you know, influence of a team, just not in the right headspace, it, it was like a cancer. You would just see it go between the team and the whole team would suddenly, their figures would drop, their efforts would drop, and, um, everything would drop and then the minute you, you pulled them out of the situation, i.e. they got sacked, they would just be instant. It's yeah. a classic example, Man United at the moment with Solskjaer, uh, Jose Mourinho, one of the best managers in the world, it was obvious there was a huge negativity around the squad, he's obviously been just sacked, so Ole Gunnar uh, so Solskjaer's gone in. Change the dressing room and look what's happened. So seven wins on the bounce, isn't it? Yeah. Amazing turnaround. It just goes to show about that, that that mindset, positivity, and who you have around you um, is is just so important. That's, that's a good example of United at the moment. Yeah, you've got to really start 
observing who is influencing you. Even though you think they're not influencing you, if you're scrolling on your news feed every day, you check your phone over 100 times a day. The average, check it. <coughs> T try yourself how much you check Facebook. If you're looking at crap, which most people on Facebook are full of crap, let's be real, they don't have any purpose, no drive, no, no commitment to changing the world or themselves. And you're observing that, your subconscious is going snapshot, 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 keep it at your back of your brain, and you continuously scan it, an hour's gone in your day. That over a year would be, that over a lifetime would shock you that you could spend with your kids, you could spend with your loved ones, you could spend changing your life, exercising, you know, like complimenting people, networking around credible people like this, right? You know, if you observe that, who still spends too much time on social media that's not practical, right? Social media is something that they say has been designed to keep you on. You know, because that's where Zuckerberg, the more people on, the more ads get clicked, the more revenue for Zuckerberg. They're smart. They've actually signed, they have labs where they test people's everything to keep people on, to get people addicted, which is fair enough. Like, that's what they want to do, you know? We use it. We use it. We use social media. We don't let it use us. Because most people observe people now. They're like, ah, they can't even, they can't, their attention spans are so bad. They can't, and that's bad. That's really bad for success. Because again, ask Buffett and Gates. They're billionaires in their, in, their, in their right, right? And they talk about that. And not just them, it's just in general, right? Focus is presence. And meditation can help you give more of that. So, again, guys, really take this seriously because everyone that is successful, everyone that has ever done anything, follows this to a T in the groups, okay? For example, when I was speaking to Volto, please laugh this if I'm listening to recording, he goes, he doesn't have much friends. <laughs> you don't? <laughs> yeah, like you keep your, you keep your circle small. He doesn't have much friends at all. He just said, I don't really like people. But he but he's got he people. But, but he's got his team around. He does it exactly. He's sort of joking, you know. We banter. He just says he'll laugh now, which in this. He, you know, he goes, I don't. Tom, I don't. I don't know, I can't do his accent. Um, I'd really boshed it up, but he doesn't really like people. I, I I know what he means in that way of round people that drag you down, right? No one does. Come on, let's be honest, guys. It's like, if there's people in here who's been seminars and people are like, but me, 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 and they're just basically, they're not calibrated. They're not socially aware of the group, you know? And this group's not like that at all. It's a great group. It's very calibrated in that way. But most people are like, me, 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 me. Oh, I need to know this. And there's something completely, we could talk about Facebook ad and it's about their deal. And it's like, we can talk about that at the end, about the deals, you know what I mean? Who's had that at seminars when it's very, like, the energy is that was like off, you know, it's like, is that person all right? Are they? But again, it's because they're, it's about me. It's like, me, me, I don't care if I give a shit about anyone else. I just want to take, get my thing. Because they're not aware in that way. And if you've got people around you like that that are taking, it's taking energy. Take, 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 and not giving, going, hey man, how's it going? Treating people well, asking questions, genuinely interested. Like for me, I'm genuinely interested in, in people, which is it's a fascination to me. All I think about is the mindset psychology every day. So Laurie, it's just like, man, this guy. <laughs> I'm just always about the psychology of the mind. That's it. Because it helps me. Right? And the heart of someone and the courage. Why are some people that I've seen that had no courage or quite a bit negative, a lot of people around them that are so different? I was like, <laughs> How, what, what happened here? And that's what I'm interested in the journey about what that person did. That's what I'm fascinated with. And that's what I like to give to you guys because I know you can do a deal. I've had clients do 20 grand deals. You know, I've had guys do that, but they didn't do it consistently. I want you guys to do it consistently. That's why I was sort of joking with you guys, Sharish Madna, um, about doing a deal and then not getting like, oh, you know, I've done a matrix grand now. And, you know, it's like, how do you keep doing that every week? You know? Um, which is, which is really awesome. So really observe this, guys, and ask yourself with the calendar. I'll go over it later now because I want to go over the uh, do or die series of Sam. Um, but really ask yourself and be honest. You have to really be honest and go within, really, and just go, who am I around? And a lot of people, maybe you're thinking this, what do I do? I've got some negative people. I don't, I don't want to just text them and say, get lost, <laughs> right? You don't do that. I mean, some of you guys might, but I, I've never done that. I naturally just... I fill the gap in with productive things, but I be honest. Sometimes you've got to be honest. I was talking about that with a, a client I caught up with the other day, and he said he had to be honest with some people. He goes, look, if you're not going to support me, I, I, like, we can't catch up anymore. And then they were like, oh, I didn't know that. I'm sorry. Who sort of had that here? Had to do that? Okay, so one person. Who should do it? 
<laughs> yeah, that's the question, right? But his hands, no. So no, everyone's got everyone around that supports him, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So this naturally goes. Yeah, I've had that. I've actually never had this. Yeah, I mean, I've had it with employees and stuff like that, and I'm like, man, come on, like, you know, in the in the past, which was negative, but like, I've never really. It just naturally phased out, and people were, like mess up. Like, I can't come out today, you know. Like I had one person, one of my friends once, from like when I was like 17, messaging me going, hey Tom, like, he just messaged me like 10 years later, hey Tom, do you want to catch up around my house? I'm like, what? <laughs> Literally like normal, like we were still teenagers. Like, man, yeah, we're coming out. I'm like, he goes, why are you ignoring me? I'm like, good Lord, do you know what I mean? It just, something is not right. So you just naturally, it's, it just doesn't make any sense, right? So if people around you, these people, I want to make this clear because some people take it too literal and I don't want to end any relationships or anything like that. Um, if they, are they dying? I mean, in terms of, you know, as a metaphor, right? Growing in life or going down. Do they not really care? So, for example, someone's like, oh, I don't care. Or you speak to them, like, yeah, yeah, yeah shut up. And they're just not interested, not, to, not just engaged with it. Then if they're not, Growing, what's going to happen is they will influence you subconsciously. Even consciously, you go, nah, I'm not influenced by that. Naturally, humans are influenced very easily. Very easily. Look at wars, right? You were very easy, <laughs> easily influenced. It's insane. You know, like some of this stuff I can teach you, you can do some, like, it's crazy. Like, literally, it's crazy what people could do, right? And that's what a lot of the seminar guys do. They get you upsells and upsells and upsells. They just influence. They've got an incredible amount. If influence it just it becomes very negative, right? Because they're using it for what sometimes ways that are not good. And sometimes, unfortunately, a lot of people get an influence around people that are negative, right? So it's important you have winners. And what are winners? People that encourage you, support you, they're growing, they're in business, are making new friends as well that are growing as well. So in this group, we talked about it. Who is going to help you accomplish your goals in the most loving way? fun way, supportive, there's no like, you're not like, oh God, that person is being negative again, you know? You don't want that. People that push you, that's what it's about. So, if you're the average of the five people you hang around with or influenced by, how can you start to positively influence? Podcasts, great audios, you know, there's some great people, about that. I'll give you some uh, names now. Um, is it, Qu um, no, what is it, Quest Productions? Yeah, Quest Productions, I think Tom Bilyeu has some great interviews. Check out his YouTube channel. Ed Milet, it's fantastic. Grant Cardone's got some great stuff. Uh, everyone's going to relate to different people. Um, Robin Sharma has some great stuff on goals and, old, and high performance. Obviously, you've got different people like Tony Robbins and stuff like that. You've got different sort of like meditation like Zen, binaural beats. So all of this stuff, guys, is going to positively influence you. Because for me, when I was starting this business, what I would do, this is what I just did. I listened to about um, audios and videos, I'd say six, seven thousand. Six, seven thousand, some over 200 times, same one. Some over 200, 300 times. Literally, just, and my brain changed. I swear to you guys, my brain changed. I, I would, when I do stuff, it's obsessive. Because I, I was so inspired by it. It's so fun. I'm passionate about it. I'm passionate about growing. So I would start learning something and I would go back over it and keep repeating it. For example, I'll just be honest with you guys. The clients, this is success leads clues. Zaf is crushing it right now. Umar and, um, and Volta have watched the videos, all of them, over tw two to three times. And they're all the ones that are making money. Over two to three times they've watched it. And Zaf has two jobs, and a kid, and a broken collarbone. <laughs> okay, so he's watched it over two to three times. He asks me about four to five questions a day. I'm just being honest. I'm just giving you for, so you can go. I can't because he's not here today. Okay, great. So how can I learn that? Do you have to do that? No, but you can take little things. Okay, or absorb. What I did is repetition. There's something powerful in continuously absorbing yourself and, and asking questions and engaging. That's why like Sam's always saying, guys, ask in Voxer because we're not just doing it for fun because we know you're, you're first you're involved, but also you learn, you have to learn. Because you can sit on the sidelines, but it's like not writing down your goals. It's like, it's like listening and just going, yeah. But if you write it down, don't you absorb it better? It's like, ah, that clicks now. 
So guys, it's super important. You really audit yourself. Look, I'm not going to talk about this anymore. I'll talk about it on webinars. But um, you have to really understand who are the people around me? Are they influencing me? Start to read books. You can get into mental advice that are multi-millionaires, the happiest or living their life. You can absorb their life history and everything they've learned in a book. So read books. Listen to all. Who likes reading? Who prefers like audios? Yeah, so audios, videos, continuously do it. Because it's just going to make you in a better state and you're going to get influenced. Whether we like it or not, we get influenced in a positive way. Well, I look at like the wars of Hitler, right? Look, like people, the, in the influence of people, observe human psychology, observe your own mind, and start to, instead of it using you, because come on, guys, we don't want to get used by our own past experiences. We want to master our mind, right? We want to do it. So we're going to talk about a 28 day challenge. The Do or Die series. Who's excited about that? Yes? A bit louder? Yes? Yes. Okay, good, good. I'm excited. I'm very excited about that. But does that make sense, guys? I know I've gone on about it a bit, but does it make sense? Yes? What I was talked about. The main thing you can get with this is if you can take control of your day, you take control of your life. If you can take control of your day and you design your day, stop letting life, like a phone call, make you feel crap. That happens to you. A letter. You don't want to be used by life. You want to take control of it and, and use it. Trust me, guys. It becomes a lot more fun. Right? And start adopting a daily routine that's going to make you feel better. Because if you feel better, you go. So if you've got all these things working, but yet you've got people that suck energy out of you. I was going to say suck you. It'd be very weird. Um, suck energy out of you. They drain you. <laughs> they put... They, they go... <laughs> and it was just laughs. It's going to make me go. You move forward. You get put back. Right? You're done. You can't move forward, guys. And I've seen this so many times. People just ignore it, goes one at the end, and then they take advice from someone that isn't living it. If you take advice from someone, I want to get health advice. I want to, okay, so I wouldn't go to a personal trainer that isn't in shape. <laughs> Why the heck would I take diet advice and workout advice from some, let's be honest, but yet people do that with business and finance every day. So it makes no sense. It makes zero sense, guys. So always ask yourself, who am I taking advice from? Because you're taking advice from someone that, not that they can be amazing people, but don't get the advice in business. In relationships you can get it from them, but don't take your effect like, but business is hard out there, there's no leads. Oh really, yeah, okay, awesome, great, bye. Because everyone's been, tell everyone's been telling that to me, about even, even in the seminar business, don't do a seminar, there's no, I'm like, Oh, really? Yeah, awesome. I just go. It's like, what? This guy is crazy. Um, so be very careful of the success barriers, okay? Cool? So start to really implement that. Because in the 28-day challenge, I mean, I'm putting you to the test, guys. Most people won't be cut out for it. Most won't cut out for it. The people that do, oh, my God. In the next 28 days, you guys are going to go for a big challenge, yeah? You excited? <laughs> Good. <laughs>